All right, guys. Big, big fight in the heavyweight division that'll let us know if these guys are coming or going. And I'm talking about the Black Beast. Derek Lewis, the fan favorite, the perennial top contender, the knockout king. He's got it tattooed on his body, and it couldn't be more true as he has the record for knockouts. So it's fitting. Anyways, he's going in there with the second Sergey to date, being Sergey Spivak, who's got a lot of wins on, you know, the mid-level heavyweights. But now he's fighting the toughest, the stiffest competition of his budding career. And here to break this down, I got not only Dr. Matt, but I got the homie originally as well. What's up, fellas? What's up, my guy? Yo, yo. Hey, fellas, I'm glad to have you here for the show. Man, Derek Lewis has lost three of his last four. Uh, the guys, and he's been finished in three of the last four, being Sergey Pavlovich, Surreal gone for the interim title, and a flatlining against Tai Tuivasa in the interim. He he did knock out Chris Dawkins, but uh, he needs to win here. And uh, originally, since this is one of your favorite fighters in the UFC, what are your thoughts here? Well, I mean, he, he is fighting a tough opponent, Derek Lewis. The reason why the first fight got canceled is because we found out Derek Lewis got COVID. Well, it may have been the best thing to happen because I don't know if you've seen Derek Lewis lately, but the guy is in phenomenal shape. And what that tells me is, is he's really dialed in and he understands the importance of this fight going into it. Um, the guy he's fighting is a tough knockout artist, but the only real notable name that he's beaten is Tai Tuivasa, and that was in 2019. So, I mean, to me, I think Derek Lewis has fought way stiffer competition. Um, as long as he is careful in there, he doesn't just uh, stand straight up. I Hopefully he's got some uh, tricks up his sleeve. But, you know, I'm taking Derek Lewis. And, you know, like you said, it's a big fight, and he's it's kind of a must-win fight for him. Absolutely, and you hit the nail right on the damn head. Derek Lewis is in tremendous shape, and you're right. You can't do MMA math just because Sergey Pavlovich finished Tai Tuivasa, and we know that Tai Tuivasa finished Derek Lewis. It doesn't mean that Sergey is going to beat Derek Lewis. Look at listen, guys. Paul Craig finished our light heavyweight champion in Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill finished Johnny Walker, and then Johnny Walker went in there and flatlined Paul Craig. You can't do MMA math. Matt, Dr. Matt, I throw it to you. What are you what are your thoughts on this must win for Derek Lewis? I think Derek Lewis is going bye bye. See, I don't want money off Sergey because don't nobody know who his little ugly ass is, but he get his hands on him. It's so weird. It needs to be like Derek's nightmare. But at the same time, then you know Derek can come out of nowhere with one punch and boom, it'll be over. <clears throat> I'm going with Sergey. Well, I understand this is this is uh, about a, ma a matter of stocks right now. Sergey Sergey uh, Spivak stock is a bit higher as he's on a winning streak, and Derek Lewis is as we put in the must win. I mean, it's a great point that you put uh, Matt. If he gets his hands on you, Sergey Spivak is a submission specialist. Yes, he's shown that he's he's uh, how can I say he's shown that he's an adequate striker. He's shown that he has, you know, a striking game, but it's not of the level of Derek Lewis. It's not as dangerous as the level of Derek Lewis. But if he gets you down, he can get you out of there by way of submission. But when Derek Lewis is ready to get up, that motherfucker gets up, doesn't he be? <laughs> Listen, Derek Lewis, he, he's fought way better opponents than this other guy, Sergey. He's fucking destroyed better opponents than this guy. You know who? Uh, Sergey's been beat by Marcin Tibera. You know who that is? Yeah, of course do. not. Nobody does. <laughs> oh, you do. My well, bad. yeah. We'll say no. We'll say <laughs> no. <laughs> I get your point, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, that's my point. I just like I said, Derek Lewis. We can't just sit in here and say, you know, his time's done. Especially when you look at the shape he's got in, it's going to make a difference. It's going to make a real difference. I'm telling you. Watch out. I hear you guys. It's a, it's up in the air, and that hey, fights aren't won on paper. We got to show up and see how it plays out. I'm gonna give my I'm gonna give my vote of confidence here to Derek Lewis because he is the knockout king, 
and Sergey Spivak is highly hittable, you know, for one. I don't and, and when it comes to strength, I'm gonna give the nod to Derek Lewis as well. So yeah, I don't see Derek Lewis getting submitted uh on the ground by Sergey Spivak, but to your credit, Matt, it is absolutely possible. One last thing that I forgot to bring up about Derek Lewis versus Sergey Spivak. Derek Lewis has made a request. A request to remove or to not have this referee being considered for his fight. That ref being Big Dan Mergliata, one of my favorite refs there is. I mean, he keeps it real with the fighters, you know what I mean? Let's them know what their choices is and the implications that lie after they select their choice. So, we all know why Derek Lewis is doing this. The first time, you know, the first time Derek Lewis fought Sergey Pavlovich and not Spivak, who he's, who he's about to fight, the fight was questionably called early. So, Derek Lewis, you know what I mean? He's like, another Sergey. And you're gonna put Dan in there again. There's too many similarities here. Let's get him out of there. I want to get I want to get you guys' opinion on him requesting to not have Big Dan referee the match. Dave Lewis is a clown, bro. I think he yeah. I don't know. I think he's just clowning, man. He can't be serious because Dan is like one of the realest. That is on the table. Okay. He's a jokester. You can't. You. I'm not gonna take this Derek Lewis slander sitting down. <laughs> You know, calling him, calling him. He's the heavyweight king. Put some respect on my man's name. And Dan Bergliata, man, he's always talking fighters out of uh, taking the easy way out, man. He, he lays it all on the line for him. But in the last fight, it was an early stoppage. It's a conspiracy. I'm with, I'm with Derek Lewis on this one. I think there's something going on. Maybe he's got money on, on the, on the uh, over-under. Hmm. Who knows, man? But the reality is, get him on out of here. Herb Dean, come on, right up. You need that need that herbal Dean in there and get rid of Big Dan. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, he's as bad as Mario Yamazaki. He's getting on that level. I don't know. That's pretty bad. Uh -oh. Yamazaki's on, you know, he's on fucking, <laughs> yeah, he's on another level, you know. Yeah, Steve Mazagati. Eve Leving. If you want to touch clubs, you know. Do now. He's, put, he's putting hearts up like Demar Hamlin and shit. <laughs> oh, here we go, bro. Let's go ahead and segue out of here, guys. These guys are gonna hook it up to decide who's coming and going. I think it's I think it's gonna be Derek Lewis. Doctor Matt thinks it's gonna be Sergey Spivak and bees with me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay frosty.